Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving y'all some stay-at-home mom motivation. He's shaking the whole coffee table, shaking my camera. So yeah, it's gonna be fall motivation, stay-at-home mom motivation, all the motivation today, vlog style. I'm just gonna take y'all through my day, everything that I need to get done today. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi. So my last video was our Halloween clean and decorate and I revealed all four of the kids' Halloween costumes. Make sure you check that one out if you missed it. We just moved in a few weeks ago, so my house is still a chaotic disaster. I still have boxes all in my bedroom. That's mostly Eric's stuff. I've basically unpacked everything except for some of Eric's things that I don't really know what he wants me to do with it, with them. So I told him he just needs to unpack his own certain things because I don't know what he wants me to do with them, where he wants me to put them and all that. So there's just boxes in my room. I still don't have bedroom curtains up. I literally have a blanket on my, my window for privacy until we can get that curtain up. I also am going to be changing out my living room curtains I put up a poll on Instagram and asked did y'all want me to leave up these ruffle curtains or do you think it would look better if I did just a solid curtain so we're gonna see how those solid curtains look it's gonna be the curtains I already have that's a big tip the biggest tip I can give y'all is if you want to redecorate your house move things around that you already have and you'll be surprised at how much of a difference it makes and some of y'all told me that I could use the ruffle curtains in the girls room but with the theme I'm going with in their room it's not gonna go at all because the ruffle curtains are kind of like farmhouse themed they just wouldn't go in there so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the ruffle curtains I may end up just not using those anywhere but I'm gonna go ahead and change out those curtains and get started with my day and just share all the motivation Hi, boo -boo. <laughs> I'm really loving these plain curtains a lot better than the ruffle curtains here. I love the ruffle curtains at the trailer, but they just didn't look as good here for some reason. But I really love these plain solid color ones. I think that they look perfect in this room. They're a little bit sheer, but not like see-through. So they let in a lot of light. So I really, really love these a lot better. Let me know what y'all think. And then I have Jackson's pack and play over here for whenever I am solo and I need to cook dinner and he's getting into everything. And I do have it pulled away from the curtain so that he can't yank those down. So that's why there's a big gap over here. And I also need to clean up all these toys. Sit beside you 
while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So Jackson is 11 months old and he is at the age now where it is impossible to get anything done with him crawling around, getting into everything, making messes. And I still need to get childproof locks on my cabinets. We have so many cabinets here and we've only been here for a few weeks. So I just haven't got that far yet. So I definitely need to figure out what kind of childproofing I want to do for my cabinets below. I also try to make sure that I only put the glass and anything like that up high. But underneath my sink, I do have cleaning supplies. So I do make sure that my baby is not getting up underneath our sink because obviously that would be dangerous. So I do find myself either holding him while I do house chores or putting him in the pack and play or his jumperoo or trying to tackle as much as I possibly can during nap time. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. The mirror on my dishwasher is actually a locker mirror. I just try to find fun ways for my baby to play in the kitchen while I'm doing tasks. So that way he's not getting into things that he's not supposed to. So I have the mirror on my dishwasher as well as a toy kitchen in here for him to play with. And whenever you put things in different rooms of your house for your baby to actually play with, it will occupy them from getting into things that they're not supposed to be into. Losing track of space and time I don't want to go home looking for a reason To stay here all night I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you The way that you make me feel You wonder if I feel the same The blood's rushing through your veins And then when I say your name Bet I'm
you're a mama to multiples, then I know that you can fully understand and relate when I say that I have to clean off my kitchen table multiple times a day. I have to vacuum and mop multiple times a day from spills and just messes on the floor. So I can't just wipe my table down at the end of the day. It's got to be done multiple times or it just gets so disgusting and so sticky. So I really love this Robo Rock. It is amazing. I just put a little bit of Fabuloso or a little bit of Pine Sol in it and it mops and vacuums at the same time. Now I'm headed out to sweep off my front porch. I have to contain Jackson because he will escape out the door in no time. And y'all look at my home sign over here on the wall. The E fell off and it broke. So I have to get some wood glue and glue that back together. So my kids were out here eating some peanuts. So there was just peanuts and leaves and dirt all over my porch. So I needed to get out here and sweep that off before it rained. It was about to rain any minute. So I was going to water my mums as well. But since it was going to rain, I just left them out in the rain to get some water that way. But it felt so good to have my porch swept off. It is a freaking mess. <laughs> If y'all have any tips on keeping mums alive, then definitely let me know. I'm going to start moving them out of the rain if it's going to rain a lot and move them underneath the sheltered part of the porch so that they don't get overwatered. Now I'm getting started on making my pumpkin cake. This cake is so delicious. It is homemade as well as some homemade cream cheese icing. Make sure you check my description box down below. I'm going to leave the recipe to it down there so you can screenshot it or write it down and make it yourself. The kids loved it. It was so delicious. are not going to see the girls in this video because they're actually with Eric's mom. They wanted to go over there and spend some time with her. So I just have the boys. Eric's not home either. He's actually off taking our van to a body shop. If y'all seen my community tab post, I said that I was going on the interstate and a big piece of metal came flying out from underneath a semi truck right towards my van. It swooshed past my windshield and went to the left side of my van and it knocked off my side view mirror and scraped up the whole side of the van. We put a temporary replacement mirror because we have to have that in order to see. It's not pretty, but it works. So he's taking it to a body shop to get a quote to see how much they're going to charge us to have it fixed. We do have full coverage insurance, but they're going to charge us $1,000 since we have a $1,000 deductible. So we would pay the $1,000 and then the insurance would cover whatever the rest of the damage is. 
So we're gonna see how much it's gonna cost at the body shop before we do that because that would also make our insurance go up. And so we're trying to avoid that. And I'm gonna have the recipe for this pumpkin cake down below in my description box so that you guys can follow it. It's super delicious and perfect for fall, for Thanksgiving, for October in general. I'm about to make some sausage for lunch. I don't like to lay Jackson down before he's had lunch, so I'm gonna feed him some baby food and some eggs. So kind of breakfast for lunch since this morning, Nolan just had like a neutral grain bar and a banana for breakfast. So we're just gonna have some sausage and eggs for lunch today. Do you agree? This is not the way it is supposed to feel. Oh, and now I can see, I can see. There are different paths laid out for you and me. Cause baby, I'm a true so Jackson's getting a little bit impatient on his eggs, but we have our sausage going. I'm about to make the eggs. We have our cake baking, and as soon as that's finished, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna be making the cream cheese icing. And Nolan's over here baking his own cake. I don't have some. I, I will. I will. You need an egg? Well, that's empty. I put everything in here, but I really need to come organize their kitchen so that they can play with it. Here's so here's your butter. Here's your butter for your cake. Here's no egg. Yeah, there's eggs in here somewhere. Here's an egg. Mm -hmm. There's a little wooden egg. Oh, you need your oven mitt because your cake's gonna be really hot. Oh, here's your egg. routine has always been unload the dishwasher in the morning and then load it throughout the day and sometimes I have to end up running the dishwasher twice a day because we have so many dishes we're a family of six so we go through some dishes and I prefer to use reusable dishes like plastics and glass versus a bunch of paperware so that's another reason we go through so many dishes so I'm going to go ahead and make Jackson a bottle and get him laid down for his nap and then I'm going to finish tackling as much as possible and around this time usually if we're not going anywhere is whenever I get my other kids dressed as well but but since I just have the boys home, I just have to get Nolan dressed. And baby Jackson usually naps for about an hour to an hour and a half. Freezing outside, a little bit high on the feeling. Can't see.
So I'm sitting down taking a little bit of a break, taking a little bit of a breather, and I'm kind of just stressed and upset right now because Eric called me and said that it was going to be over $4,000 to fix my van. Cracked windshield, side view mirror needs to be replaced, there's a dent in the front, scratched up all the side, and so basically it's going to cost way too much to pay out of pocket. So doing our $1,000 deductible insurance claim, we just pay the $1,000, the insurance covers the rest. They said initially the van's going to sit in a shop for 24 to 48 hours before someone even comes out to inspect it. Once they come out to inspect it, they're going to tell us how long it's going to take. And she said it's probably going to be two to three weeks. And our van is our main vehicle to carry our kids around. We have four kids and Eric's car just broke down the transmission tore up or something so he literally just has a truck now we could probably maybe fit in his truck but i don't think so and it's a really old truck with tons of problems like his dash is all jagged and busted up and it's just not a safe vehicle for us to ride around in we all know when it rains it pours and it has been pouring on us all year last year and this year it's trying to pour on us too we did get this house and we feel so lucky blessed grateful for this house but it's like one thing after another thousands of dollars thousands of dollars gone 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 for things we need our dryer stopped working Eric's car tore up now my van and also Eric's job is laid off currently for two weeks he will get unemployment but the unemployment is not as much as he typically makes at his job so everything is just falling down on us I've been having to go over to my dad's to dry our laundry as if doing laundry is not enough work <laughs> but we're trying to stay positive and look at the bright side of things. You can sit around and be upset about it and ruin everyone else's mood or you can just throw your hands up and say, oh well, it's out of my hands. I'm gonna do what I can to fix it and that's all I can do and carry on with your day and stay positive. There's no sense in sitting around and being angry or upset all day long even though uh, I'm so frustrated. But I hope you understand what I mean. There's no sense in letting it drag down your joy and ruining your day. So this is how our pumpkin cake turned out. Here in just a second, I'm gonna show y'all how I make the cream cheese icing. I'm just gonna make sure it is completely 100% cooled off before I put any icing on it, and we are excited to eat it, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is the state of my bathroom. I am gonna try to get my bathroom taken care of today. Whenever you turn on the light in here, the fan automatically comes on, so sorry for that noise. But this is my over the toilet shelf. Eric is gonna put this together today and I'm gonna decorate it and put everything in it. I'm gonna put up my new shower curtain and just get this stuff off the floor. I also have my makeup vanity right here. So we're gonna get my mirror put up today and I'm just gonna clean all this off. And then walking back here into my closet, I have my mirror here, that's some of Eric's clothes. This is actually Jackson's first birthday present. I'm gonna keep it in that box until we have his party. I'm gonna try to get some of this taken care of where it's such a mess up there. Hang up some of my laundry, that's my wedding dress, and just kinda organize the closet a lot better than what it is. I have this organizer in here. I wanna get some wicker baskets to go in here, but I don't have those yet. This is just for some extra storage, and then I just have stuff piled up right here. And then I'm going to be hanging up this mirror up here. And I think it'll look really cute right there. But this is the state of my closet. And I've been just like doing my makeup out of this basket. And so far this is what my bathroom looks like. So we're going to tackle it today. And also here in my closet doorway, I don't really want to hang up a curtain, so I'm going to put some beads. I'm sure you guys have seen people hang like the beads up in the doorway and it'll kind of make the closet look pretty and kind of block it off from the bathroom. So that is a future plan, but let's go ahead and tackle this bathroom. Once my cake is cooled off 100%, that's when I ice it. If you ice it while it's still hot, obviously your icing is just gonna melt off. So make sure it's all the way cooled off. So make sure you check my description box to see how I made this homemade cream cheese icing. It's so freaking good, y'all. You have to try it. And if you do try it and you have Instagram, then make sure you tag me over there. Trying to get your attention. You make me nervous. In the corner of my best friend. You were getting by some rum and cola Wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you Not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met you 
So now heading back into my master bathroom to finish up. So I had this really pretty gray shower curtain with flowers on it that I got from walmart.com and I had it since Nolan was a baby and I really just wanted to change things up a little bit. So I found this shower curtain at Target and I think it is so so pretty. So my style is like farmhouse boho combined. I love boho and I love farmhouse. So I just combine them and that is my style. And I love the way that it looks. I also got an over the toilet shelf that Eric was putting together while I was cleaning the bathroom that I'm going to decorate here in just a minute. And it all turned out so good. Now my closet is a hot mess express. I was so overwhelmed in here, but I did get as much done as I could. So the left side of the closet is going to be dedicated to Eric and the other side, the right side is dedicated to me. I also have my little printer stand in here. There's a outlet in here. So I'm just going to keep my printer in the closet. So I don't have to risk one of the kids messing with it. And I don't really want to clutter up next to my desk with it either. So my printer's just going to stay in the closet. I do have a white organizer in the closet. I dedicated the left side to Eric and the right side to me. So I do still have to get some wicker baskets for that. And I'm just filling up my makeup vanity. And then Eric's going to pop my mirror on. And that will be finished. And I'm just so excited to have my bathroom finally put together. I will link this over the toilet shelf down below, but I will let y'all know that it is a little bit cheaply made, but we made it work and we did mount it to the wall. And I think that it looks pretty and the door slides on it so easily. And I just love the way that it turned out with my decor. I just love it so much y'all. I think it turned out exactly what I envisioned. And I love that it has the sliding door because I have one of these in my living room. It's a little bookshelf and on the left side is where we keep all of our junk and on the right side I can make it pretty and decorative. So I really really love that. So I highly recommend getting a sliding barn door cabinet for your bathroom or for your living room because you can hide your junk on one side and decorate it make it pretty on the other. And this is the final look. And then here in just a minute, we're going to head back into the living room because we got one more piece to go to our couch just to extend it a little bit more. And it just made the living room look so much better. But this is how my bathroom turned out and I'm obsessed. My favorite bathroom scent is the Hearth and Hand Salt. It smells so good. They have different scents, but the salt is by far my favorite.
So the one last piece that we ended up adding onto the couch came all the way out to the edge of the rug and it really fits just so perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up the living room for the night and go ahead and get ready for bed. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and decorating my house and spending the day with me as a stay at home mama. I hope you found today's video motivational. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to be. I upload videos every Monday and every Wednesday. So I'll be back real soon with a brand new video. No matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived.